when we think about the drug treatment for rheumatoid arthritis, we're thinking about three major groups of drugs. First, we're thinking about drugs that control inflammation. These are drugs like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agents. Some drugs that we can think about here are drugs like ibuprofen or naproxen. These drugs also have pain relieving properties and relief of pain is a very important aspect of the treatment for rheumatoid arthritis. By themselves though, these drugs do not control the disease and they do not prevent joint damage. For that, we use another group of drugs which are called disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs or DMARDs. We can think about DMARDs in two basic categories. The first category are older drugs that you can take by mouth. These include medications such as methotrexate and hydroxychloroquine and sulfasalazine. These drugs have the purpose of slowing down the immune system's overactivity to prevent the damage that the rheumatoid arthritis causes to the joints. Another group of drugs that's used are called biologics. These drugs are generally used when the first group of drugs is inadequately effective. Some of these drugs work against proteins which are called cytokines. Cytokines are inflammatory proteins that are generated by cells in the immune system which cause or contribute to the damage in joints that we know as rheumatoid arthritis. Certain forms of cytokine therapy include tumor necrosis factor antagonists or TNF antagonists. Some drugs in this category include etanercept and adalimumab and infliximab and several others. Then there's another group of biologics that affect the function of cells of the immune system. These include rituximab and abatacept. And then there are some newer drugs that are being developed which are called small molecules that also work on proteins that are very important in the inflammatory process such as tofacitinib. Very often patients with rheumatoid arthritis have such severe symptoms that corticosteroids are necessary. Corticosteroids or cortisone known to us as prednisone in most cases can be taken by mouth or it can be injected into affected joints that are especially painful and swollen. In general we try to limit the use of cortisone because of the many known side effects of cortisone and because we think that cortisone has a very limited effect on reducing the joint damage in rheumatoid arthritis. Still, a lot of patients need cortisone simply because of the pain, the swelling, and the stiffness.